It'll come off the foot of Andy Borgales. The true freshman in his first college game. No pressure. Full house. National TV. His brother Jose was their great kicker a year ago. Spinning kick. Goes out of the back of the end zone. It was Jamison Williams, the transfer from Ohio State, who was back to receive it. Third down and seven. The opening possession of the season for Alabama. Young has time. Far sideline. Caught. John Mechie, their leading returning wideout, has the first down. Watch him get away from the contact. Make the catch. And back they come again. Slade Bolden, another veteran receiver. Owens, 79, is the right tackle, as you can see. And Darian Dalcourt starts at center. John Mechie. Good tackle in space by Gervin Hall, one of their safeties. Spun around and stumbled to the turf. Brian Robinson in his fifth year, finally the lead back. Powers his way to a first down. He's calling the defenses. Young had to step up away from the rush. Wide open receiver. It's John Mechie lunging for the pylon. There is a flag. It's a touchdown if it stands. I think Miami was offsides on the pass rush. Evan Neal still blocked his guy. Remarkable quick return to action. He's never worn a brace, and he says he never will. Dual threat quarterback like Young, and he's on target for about seven, maybe even eight, to the newcomer from Oklahoma, Charleston Rambo. The first time De'Eric King in his career has ever had the same offensive coordinator, same system, two years in a row. And he's on target to Will Mallory. And the tight end has the first down. And Chris Harris, number four. There's Cameron Harris in trouble and stacked up on third down and seven. They tried to sneak in a delayed run. And Will Anderson, Phil Mathis, among those having nothing of it. Bryce Young, four out of five on the opening drive. Brian Robinson is the running back. Runs left, runs over Cam. And nearly gets the 15 for the first down. He got 13 before Bubba Bolden shoved him out. For this opportunity, he waited very patiently. He's a good back. And he has the first down. First and 10, eight and a half to go. First quarter, 7-0 Bama. Miami brought pressure. They flush Young, who throws on the run and has a first down. Jamison Williams the catch. Young, all kinds of time, shovels it to McClellan, work to do, and he did it. Got the first down with two to spare. Watch him go for a shot right here, though. On first and 10 for the 36, high snap, he took it down, gave it to Robinson. Brian Robinson inside the 20. In the first nine minutes plus, already 7-0 Bama. And they're on the move again. Robinson taken down for a loss by Takori Couch. Reichert had a perfect year last year. 14 for 14 in field goals. Made all 84 PATs. Dating back to the season before, he'd made 15 field goals in a row. And now 16. Five wide receivers. King over the middle, the slant connects to Keyshawn Smith, but he's down two yards short of the first down. Has really embraced the work ethic and the ownership of the offense. Has room to take off running, has the first down with about two to spare. Miami fans trying to make it tough on Young. They flush him to the right, a bullet on the move, and a first down to Jamison Williams. Here in this impressive opening quarter, he's 9 out of 13 for 103. Robinson crosses midfield, and here's a flag. Looked like Bradley Jennings came in with the helmet. It's actually Bolden who came in with the helmet. Personal foul, targeting defense. Number 21. Listed at 6'7", 350. After the play fake, wide open. JoJo Earl 
He's a freshman. That's his first career catch, and he took it inside the 20. Yeah, right now, Manny Diaz doesn't have any answers for Alabama's offense. Jamison Williams gets nine more. Tyreek Stevenson made the tackle. But this guy has been a welcome addition to Alabama's receiver room. Play fake by Young. Wide open, and it's a touchdown. Alabama picking right up where it left off last year when they hammered Ohio State. Brett Lashley wants his quarterback to do that. Look out. He got hit by Chris Allen, and the ball popped out. And Phil Mathis has it for the tie. We heard down in six. Alabama three for four on third down so far in the ball game. They blitz through the Canes, and the tackle is made by Keontre Smith. Well, Will Reichert's made 16 in a row, but this one's from 51. His career long is 52. He got plenty of it, and the streak is still alive. Will Reichert bombs one from 51. And Iowa with a big game next weekend in Des Moines against Iowa State on first down. Charleston Rambo caught it, got dumped for a two-yard loss by Brian Branch. Meanwhile, Christopher Allen going to the locker room for further examination. Boy, so poised, yep. never in a hurry, doesn't have happy feet. Sets and fires here on target, Slade Bolden, first down. I was really impressed with his, his absolute accuracy. Jace McClellan, another missed tackle by Miami. And into Kane's territory went McClellan. And that just sets everything up, whether it's play action pass, whether it's RPO game, takes a lot of pressure off a quarterback. Young on target, Mechie. Oh, high stepping. And that's just a partial list of Kane's who are here and not enjoying it, certainly. Five-man rush, Young, first down. Latu didn't have a catch for his career, has two touchdowns! Each of the last three starting quarterbacks at Alabama, who've already gone on to the NFL, Jalen Hurts, Tua Tonga below, and Mac Jones. He's also older, as you saw, than Justin Herbert. And there are five 24-year-olds He's older than six and uh, just slightly younger than five others. He's under duress again and swung down. It's Christian Harris. Loss of four, second and 14. Four wide receivers. There's Anderson again. Yep, there he goes. Will Anderson. You, you can't block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. It's been a long time since Miami has had that kind of quarterback. And they used to have a ton. Lou Headley, the punt, there is a flag down. Personal foul, kick catch interference, kicking team number 26. First to 10 Alabama, four minutes to go in the half. Big hole for Roy Dell Williams. He lost the ball. And I believe they're going to rule him down, and they do after an eight-yard gain. Cameron Kitchens. Ruling on you the field a fumble. The tackle. Recovered by Miami. Okay. First down. Well, that's news to everybody on the field yeah. as the offense and defense for Alabama and Miami respectively were still standing there. Here's Ron Snodgrass, the referee. After review, there was a fumble. However, it was recovered by Alabama. First down at the 35-yard line. So good work by Rick Nelson. So Roy Dell Williams, a sophomore, breathes a sigh of relief. Bryce Young off quickly to Javon Baker. He gets taken out of bounds by Gervin Hall and Tyreek Stevenson. Here's Molly McGrath. Here's Jerry Judy. Miami shows blitz, rushes five, Young throws behind Cameron Latu. Remember, they deferred the opening kickoff. They'll get the ball to start. 
they need some momentum. I mean, they got to put a drive together that hopefully can finish with some points. Talk about Rhett Lashley, the offensive coordinator. This is not his first go-round against Alabama. He was offensive coordinator at Auburn for four years. Good throw and catch. Keyshawn Smith. You were letting time run off the clock too freely right now. You have to go for it, you'd think, on fourth down. If they don't get it, that's a moot point. They do get it, then Cameron Harris upended in the open field by Josh Job. I mean, you've got to go for it on fourth down, but you don't want to be fourth and 15. Pressure from King's left. He got it off to Charleston Rambo. Miami will go for it from its own 45 on fourth down and 10 with 20 to go in the half. King giving a nice pocket that time and a beautiful throw and catch by Keyshawn Smith. First down, 35 yard line. For seven yards. King, plenty of time, locks it up, going deep for Rambo. And the flag flies as he got tangled up with Daniel Wright. And Jose texted Andy to remind them of their shared pre kick routine. Get comfortable, find an aiming point. Left knee, lean shoulders back, ready to go. Checkpoint accomplished, kick good. The Boric ally have been kind to Manny Diaz. <laughs> it's the end of the first half. 37 yard field goal and a little consolation. Well, Sean, you guys were talking about keeping it simple. That's what Manny Diaz told me he wants to do. He said, you got to just get that first first down. Then we can get some momentum. We've had some plays and some opportunities, but penalties are absolutely killing us. And he said his message to De'Ara King is don't look at the scoreboard. Started every game last year for Alabama as a true freshman. Nice throw, nice catch. Harley lost his helmet as he was tackled. 16 out of 17 for the game with the 5 for 5 on this drive. A rocket. That's caught by Xavier Restrepo, a freshman. And the only negative thing of Alabama in this game right now is the status of Chris Allen, who went out early in the ball game, has not returned. You wonder what his status is. Third down and five. Cam Harris has the first down and much more inside the 10. Jordan Battle finally got him down. Let's get a quick update. Third and goal from the six. Opening possession of the second half. Cheney down to the goal line. And they're marking him down short. Byron Young prevented the touchdown. They get over the ball very quickly. They are going to go for it on fourth down and goal from inside the one. King to the goal line. And he did not get in. I want to bring in Matt Austin if we can after this play to ask a question about mechanics of officiating. Young back in the end zone again on third and five. That question might have to wait because there goes Jamison Williams to the house. Touchdown Alabama. Well, George is the one who seems to be kind of poised to join that group, and they just can't quite get there. They're exceedingly close. Maybe this is the year throwing a traffic, batted around and intercepted by Malachi Moore. And there is a flag down at the 34-yard line. After the interception, illegal block in the back, intercepting team number 28. Uh, that was a, that was a good, enough of an apology, was it, to anybody? Who might have been bothered. Here's Javon Baker. I do want to go back to the sequence that you talked about. It's normally the line of scrimmage officials will handle that 100%. But again, any time a ball crossing the line of scrimmage, that's reviewable. And certainly the uh, communicator up in the booth will just call down, yes, the ball crossed the line of scrimmage. We don't need to have an official replay. Bryce Young nice gives it to run. Sanders again. Big hole. And very near a first down. Came up just short of the first down. Sanders again. Trey Sanders again. Touchdown again. 20 yards. 
And of course, Bill O'Brien was the offense coordinator for Bill Belichick, who many believe is the greatest NFL coach of all time. And Coach O'Brien said he's really proud of that. Long ball for Restrepo, looking for the flag, and he's going to get it, it seems. No, in, in the three games they lost last year, they gave up an average of 47 points. So their defense struggled. And they have not beaten a number one team. I know it's not on this coaching staff or these players. They haven't beaten a number one team since 2000. 42 points allowed to Clemson, 62 to uh, North Carolina. For the end zone for Estrepo. And a nice catch as he was fending off Brian Branch. And it's tied for the second longest touchdown pass in school history. 99 yards the record. A.J. McCarron to Amari Cooper at Auburn, November 30th of 2013. Young zings one. Cameron Latu. Veteran safeties. Here's Bubba Bolton now in street clothes. Young got hit. The ball's loose. And it's recovered by Miami. Chance Williams back up defensive end, knocked it out, and Jordan Miller tackle. Chance Williams, a freshman, they think has a huge upside. Made his presence felt. Out wide to Keyshawn Smith. Broke a tackle, finally got taken down by Justin Boigby. Miami wide receiver Mike Harley spent time in the x-ray room. He is out for the game with an upper extremity injury, I'm told. So that doesn't hinder him going forward. He's the key part of their team. Cheney looked like he got just enough for the first down. He did. Second and six from the 11. Miami on the move. They've looked better here on offense in the second half. And right on cue, an interception. There is a flag down. Daniel Wright picked it off if it stands. There is a flag down at the three-yard line. And I think he was grabbed. Right the pass holding defense number three. King, there's Will Anderson again. He got away from Anderson, but not from Big Phil Mathis. And boy, has the pass rush been a factor all day today. Here's a 28-yard field goal try by Andy Boragallis, and it is good. We'd like to announce that Chick-fil-A has renewed its sponsorship with ESPN going forward. Thank you, Todd Blackledge. Jace McClellan is stacked up, and it looks like he might have the first down. They have a number three quarterback that we may not see tonight, but he's going to play some this season also. It's Treshawn Holden. Taken down by DJ Ivey. He has a first down. And a well coached Billy Napier, returning quarterback, a lot of starters. It's a team that beat Iowa State, and we knew how good they were. Made it to the Big 12 championship game. Beat them in the opener a year ago. So that's a pretty good start for Steve Sarkeesian. No criticism intended toward USC. Just hard to argue what's going on at Alabama these days. Well, and not just recruit top quarterbacks, but top receivers. And again, when Lane Kiffin changed the Alabama offense. Did it go well with your Chick-fil-A? <laughs> yeah, really good. A little Duke's Mayo on there, and we're good to go. <laughs> Jace McClellan dropped for a loss. There's Will Reichert. This would be a 40-yard try. And it is good. You know, when we spoke with Will the other day, he said at the beginning of last year, he was playing a little safe. There's a pass over the middle. Ricocheted and intercepted. Jalen Moody has it for Alabama. Jalen Moody with flags flying, probably for an illegal block on the return, goes out of bounds. Personal foul, blindside block on the intercepting team. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. Have mercy on Mercer. Yes, I was just thinking that. Paul Tyson tossed it back to Trey Sanders, who gets gang tackled, led by Nesta Jade Silvera. Pressured throughout. By that relentless Alabama pass, uh, pass rush, which sacked him four times and pressured him many more. The intended receiver, Will Mallory, it's incomplete. Bryce Young, and this was a while ago, yep. had already received about $800,000 worth of deals through the name, image, and likeness. And 
When we uh, asked Bryce about that the other day, he kept steering it back to that's Ajay Hall who had made the catch. He kept steering it back to Coach Saban tells us, take care of that when you're not in the building. Right. He said, I Personal have people to take care of it for me. It's not on my mind at all. When I'm, uh, you know, it's hard to imagine that their offense this year could be, I hate to say it, but anywhere near as good as last year, and yet that was a outstanding performance we watched today there might not be an offense anywhere in college football for a very long time that is as good as what we saw from Alabama last year in Charlotte Georgia and Clemson in a matter of moments this will likely be the last play of the game Zach McLeod made the tackle on Jalen Milrow so it's Mercer next week but then Back into the fire at Florida on September 18th for Alabama. Tyler Van Dyke takes off running, gets run down from behind. Kendrick Blackshear made the tackle. And uh, Tyler Van Dyke and Manny Diaz say that's enough. Nick Saban a winner. He's now 15 and 0. In openers at Alabama, and uh, similar to years gone by, the average margin of victory in those other wins on opening day by 29 points. And today they win by 31.